What's going on guys and welcome back to another video. So this is unfortunate to say, but the reports are now indicating that more banks are going to fail. And I want to bring this to your attention, not because more banks are going to fail, but because the US government is in talks of uh, providing some banking relief. I want to explain what's going on there. First, let me know if you've ever heard this before. A U.S. bank is having a difficult time because of decisions they have made to uh, secure a profit. And due to the economy changing and, and turning and shifting, the U.S. government has to come in and bail them out. Does that sound familiar? Well, it should. Because this is not the first time that we have seen this. Now, by now you've obviously heard about the collapse of the Silicon Valley Bank. But what you may not have heard about is how other banks are on the verge of doing the exact same thing that the Silicon Valley Bank just did. Now, later this month, and this is a big, big issue, later this month, the Federal Reserve is going to have another meeting where they will be discussing their next rate hike. Now, we don't know exactly what the rate hike is going to be. There's speculation that the Fed is going to raise rates by uh, 25 basis points, there's also a chance we could see a 50 basis point rate hike. Now, why does this matter? First off, I just want to say this. Anytime we see a rate hike, it matters. It matters because it should slow down inflation. This week, okay, in just a couple of days, I believe on Tuesday, the 14th of March, we will have the next CPI report. Now, so do two things. First off, go ahead and hit that like button on this video it does help out with the YouTube algorithm. But the second thing I want you to do, click that subscribe button so that I can keep you up to date on what's going on regarding our interest rate. But that CPI report comes out on Tuesday. Now, that's gonna have uh, a major implication as to what the Federal Reserve decides to do. Is it gonna be a 25 basis point rate hike or a 50 basis point rate hike? We don't know, but here's why this matters. This matters because reports are indicating that there are dozens of smaller banks that could be exposed as rates continue to increase. Because as rates increase, this is going to put a lot of pressure on some of these banks. And I say this because this is what we've been seeing with the Silicon Valley Bank. People are pulling their money because they're, they're worried. But why are they worried? They're worried because the bank is having to sell assets in order to get funds to uh, you know for the withdrawals, right? But they're selling assets at a loss, and it's because of the rate hikes. Now, this is actually why the U.S. government is now considering a fund to backstop deposits in case more banks do fail. The U.S. right now is struggling. Right? We don't have the funds needed to provide any additional assistance to the U.S. economy. But that is what the U.S. is looking at doing, specifically through the Fed and the FDIC. Now, reports this morning are indicated that the Fed and FDIC are, uh, Wayne, creating a, a fund that allows um, regulators to backstop more deposits at banks that run into financial troubles. Now, we don't know uh, much as far as the details here because these are supposed to be private discussions, but this is something that the Fed and FDIC are considering at this time. But here's the problem. The banks don't have to be transparent with their clients. They don't have to tell you that things are, are you know, looking uh, you know, somewhat difficult, that they're uh, you know, going through some financial troubles. You know, yeah, there's, there's uh, you know, reports that they have to do, and, uh, but, if the executive comes out and says, yeah, things are fine. You know, this is just normal banking activity. Well, they can tell you that. You can believe that, but is it true? In most cases, no. The truth is that many smaller banks are not doing well. They're struggling. And the reason why they're struggling is because how do banks make money? Banks make money by lending. They lend money, they receive deposits, and they lend that money out and they make a return. Banks are, they also make money investing into bonds, but here's the thing with bonds, when rates go up, 
the value of an, exi an existing bond goes down. So if the bank has to sell that bond, guess what happens? They lose money. A bank does not want to lose money. Okay. Now, what if a bank does fail? Well, we know that that is not going to happen. We cannot see major banks fail. Here's the reason why. The U.S. economy is already struggling. We know the housing market's going to crash, right? The stock market's coming down. The American people don't have savings. Our, our credit card debt is through the roof, right? We're struggling. Here's the problem. If a major bank fails, it's going to cause a financial crisis. We cannot have a financial crisis on top of all the other things that are currently going on. So here's the big question. The big question is what does the US government do? Because they have the big plan. What is the big plan? Well, Republicans want a, a balanced budget. They want a deficit reduction, right? And they want these things in order to increase the debt ceiling. Democrats just want the debt ceiling increased. They want to uh, bring in more revenue through tax increases. And they want to continue to spend uh, you know, all the money that they bring in. These are the big plans. But the problem is what happens if uh, to these plans in the event that Congress must step in and pass a massive bailout to the financial industry or even the housing market. What happens then? Well, reports indicate that things will get very rocky. That if we see this again, which some say we will, that we need to be prepared. Be prepared because there are tough times ahead. If we see a bigger bank than the Silicon Valley Bank, if we see a bigger one collapse, this could create massive chaos. Here's the reason why. If you have a small bank that collapses, yeah, it's, it impacts a lot of people. We're going to see the ripple effect for quite a while. But here's the thing. If a big bank, right, if, and I'm not going to say any names of banks here, but if a big bank, let's say something in the top 10, uh, feels this pain and goes through a, a tough economic time like this, well, we could see we could see a lot of pain. It could trickle down to the smaller banks. It could also trickle up to the bigger banks. Right? Everybody is going to be impacted. And according to some reports, this could be the first wave. The first wave. Think about that. The first wave isn't always the biggest. Okay? The first wave is not always the biggest, most severe. So if this is the first wave, be ready. Because again, things are not going to get better. They will get worse. So that's what I got for you guys today. Again, more banks are going to fail. How they fail though, that is what we don't know. And we are uh, being told different things. But as we get more information, as we get some statements from uh, banking and executives, I promise I will bring you those, those updates and those news reports as soon as possible. But again, thank you guys for watching. Consider subscribing and I'll see you guys on the next one.